Hey, this is M from The 33 Secrets and welcome to today's coaching video. And the topic today is how to isolate your target. Okay, when you're out in these venues, how to isolate the girl away from her friends. Because as long as that girl's friends are around, she is not going to do anything with you. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you isolate her away from her friends where she won't feel like a slut, if she does anything physical with you, or even if she just says something a little bit sexually over the top. She won't have to worry about, oh my God, my friend Sally, she's gonna think I'm a slut. You know, she won't have to worry about that when you isolate her. So in today's coaching video, you are going to learn how to isolate your target. And I actually have a little treat for you today. This special clip is actually from my coaching program, my monthly coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery. And if you're not in my monthly coaching program, I don't know why you're not, but you gotta get in that program right now ASAP. Okay, it's only a dollar for the first month. So what are you waiting for? If you can't afford a dollar, get out of town, all right? Get out of town, man. It's only a buck for the very first month. So if you're not in my coaching program right now, you have to get in my coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery. Just click that link in the description box and it'll take you right to the site where you can sign up right now, okay? Before I take it down, and don't think for a second that I won't because I actually want to move on to other things and I'm not gonna keep this coaching program up forever, okay? So you wanna get in there while you still can, okay? Because once I cut it off, that's it. No more guys are getting in. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right now I wanna talk about isolating your target and the importance of isolating your target. Because as long as your target is not isolated and any one of her girlfriends is standing around watching you, She's not gonna do anything with you physically, okay? Nothing is gonna happen physically and even verbally, most times, just watch what she says. She, want, she might make sure that uh, she doesn't let the conversation escalate or go anywhere just because she doesn't want her friends thinking that she's easy or that she's slutty or that you know, you're gonna get anywhere with her. Because girls are really, really, really defensive about looking like a slut in front of uh, their female friends right? So the thing that you want to do as soon as you open your target and you feel like it's going somewhere and you, you kind of feel that connection going is you want to isolate her. And a lot of times what I'll do immediately after I open my targets is I will just take them by the hand and I'll be like, come outside with me for two seconds. And she's like, why? No, just come, just come. We'll be, we'll, we'll be real quick. We'll be right back and I'll just bring her with me and I'll isolate her very, very quickly. I generally won't wait until we're deeper in the conversation, uh, especially at this point. I just don't have time to wait and uh, you know, waste my time in the venue uh, seeing if this girl will come outside with me or not. I generally do it very, very quickly in the interaction. Also because I want to get her away from her girlfriends. I don't really wanna talk to them. I don't wanna speak with them. I actually did a video about this on my YouTube channel uh, called How to Deal with the Mother Hen, where I teach you guys is basically, like I've taught you guys in my coaching series, don't deal with the mother hen at all. There's no good that can come from it. Uh, a lot of pickup instructors will teach you to engage the mother hen and befriend her friends and whatnot, where I'm not even about that. I don't wanna meet her friends. I don't know her friends. I don't care to meet them until I get to know her first. And the only way I'm gonna get to know her is if I isolate her, okay? And when I've got her in isolation, that's the only that's the only time that she's gonna be her true self in front of me. And I can be able to tell whether she really genuinely likes me or not. Because if she's in front of her friends, even if she doesn't like me, she might just put on this act and be nice to me. And I might take it upon myself as like, hey, maybe this chick likes me because she's being nice to me. But a lot of times these girls will just do it because they don't want to seem like a bitch in front of their friends. So uh, I don't know how this girl is genuinely feeling, how she is truthfully feeling about us until I isolate her. Because once I've got her in isolation, it's just me and her, right? Just me and her, I could work all the game I want to on her. I could sexualize our conversation. I could get physical with her. I could try to get instant makeout from her, you know, and she will reciprocate things. And she'll be truthful and genuine about it. And she won't have to worry about her girlfriends. Like, oh my gosh, Amanda is watching me. I've got to be careful. I don't want Amanda thinking I'm a slut. 
you know, so she won't have to worry about that once we're in isolation. So whenever you are in a crowded venue and you open your target, the very first opportunity you have to isolate her, isolate her. Okay. If you're with her and her friend is like, Hey guys, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. When that chick goes to the bathroom, take her and leave, like go somewhere else in the venue where her friend can't find you, where it'll take her a little while to find you, where you could be alone together and she won't have to worry like, okay, Amanda's coming out of the bathroom in another 90 seconds. I gotta watch what I say. I can't like do anything with this guy. No, when, when Amanda goes to the bathroom, you take your target, go to another part of the venue, like very, very far somewhere else in the venue where Amanda can't find you until you've really gotten to know each other on a more truthful level. Okay. And that can take just a few minutes or that can take several minutes, right? But uh, the key is as soon as you open them and you're in a crowded venue, uh, you want to isolate her as quickly as possible. Do not sit there with her girlfriends and try to interact with her girlfriends and try to befriend them because I know a lot of these, these pickup guys from uh, the old pickup community, even a lot of these guys still today uh, teach you to do that. They teach you to, oh, befriend the friends and make sure that uh, you befriend the entire social circle where I'm not about that. I'm about going from point A to point B. I see the girl I want. I approach her. I don't talk to any of her friends. I talk to her first. I pull her away. I get to know her. I isolate her. I might make out with her. I might get physical with her, but I'm going to get to know her without her girlfriends or her guy friends or whoever she's there with her coworkers. I want to isolate her away from all those people and get to know her, just me and her on a very, very honest and genuine, authentic level. Okay. And if things go well, and we exchange phone numbers and we set up a date to see each other again and we're feeling the vibe and we're liking each other. We have a lot of same commonalities, beliefs, values, morals and whatnot. And I feel like this is on then I'll be like, yeah, let's go back to the table. Introduce me to your friends. That's the time that I want to meet the friends. That's the time I want to kind of get to know more about her. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, Sandy told me that uh, you guys work together. Or Sandy told me that uh, you guys have known each other since seventh grade. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sandy told me you guys used to be roommates in college. So yeah, tell me about that. That's the time I'll get to know her friends. I'm not going to sit there and get to know her friends when I just, I'm just meeting her, right? I want to know more about her. I don't care about her friends. I don't know them. I'm not there for them. I'm there for her, right? And by doing what a lot of these, these pickup instructors teach you to do, like befriend all the friends, you're just coming off as disgenuine because they're like, oh, obviously this guy, he wants her. He wants Sandy. Dude, if you're here for Sandy, why are you trying to, you know, act like you want to talk to us? Just talk to Sandy. So it can come off as disgenuine a lot of times if you sit there trying to be a nice guy and trying to like befriend all the friends like, oh, who is everyone here? Everyone go around the table, introduce yourself. You don't know those people. Right. And you don't care to know those people until you get to know her first. All right. Because once you isolate that girl, you pull her away. What if you don't like her? What if you're not even into her? What if you realize that you have nothing in common? Do you want to meet her friend still? No, you'll be like, all right, well, it's nice meeting you. Goodbye. Because if you stay in that venue and you game other girls and you are already there being friendly with her friends and you realize it's not going anywhere with her. Now you're going to look like kind of like a dick going around, like trying to meet other girls. So instead of trying to befriend the entire group, just go from point A to point B, get your target and isolate her away from her group and away from her girlfriends or her coworkers, whoever she's there with as quickly as possible at the very first opportunity that you see. Okay. It might be on the open, but like, Hey, you know, my name's Paul. What's yours? She'll be like, Oh, I'm Jill. Cool. Nice to meet you, Jill. And her friend like turns her back for two seconds. Be <laughs> like, boom, let's go. We'll be right back. Or if you have a wingman with you and the wingman can distract her friend for a second, you guys can open together. She could talk to her friend be like, okay, cool. They're busy. Let's me and you go, you know, and then you could tell her, Hey, let's, let's leave her and uh, your friend alone for a second because uh, he kind of likes her. He kind of has a crush on her. Let's, let's go stand over there. We'll just watch them from afar, but really you're isolating her, right? So this is kind of a little conspiracy. You could get going with your wingman. If he's cool, you could be like, Hey, that's my target. I'm going to go approach her right now. I'm going to isolate her, but I need you to keep her friend occupied. So a lot of times I'll have my wingman come in with me, open her friend, and then 
I'll take my target away and I'll be like, oh, my wing, he's really into your girlfriend and he just wants to like have like two minutes alone with her. Is it cool? You know, but really I'm after the girl. So you got that little uh, misdirection going on, right? So your whole goal after you approach these girls is to isolate her. Okay, do not sit there and try to be the life of her party and try to introduce yourself to every single one of her friends and find out all about them and how they know each No, 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 no. Just go for your target, grab her, introduce yourself, talk to her and only her, and isolate her as quickly as possible. If she sits there and her girlfriend tries to introduce herself, you know, I'm very short when uh, girls do that. Like if I approach a girl and I'm like, hey, who are you? It's like, oh, I'm Sandy. Sandy, nice to meet you. Matt, spin her around, do a little pickup artist spin, and then we're talking, we're in our own vibe, and I'm getting ready to isolate her. If any of her girlfriends like tried to interject and be a little bitch and like, oh, who are you? Hi, who are you? I'm her friend, I'm her roommate. Like, oh, cool, hi, nice to meet you. You know, I'm very short with them. I don't sit there like, oh, you know, try to appease them. I'm like, very short with them. Okay, that oh, was nice to meet you. I'm just talking to your friend real quick, be like two seconds. She's telling me this really funny story, like two seconds. You know, I'm, I'm very short with them. I'm just trying to get rid of them because I don't know them yet. I'm not sure if I want to know them. I want to know her first, okay? I want to get to know her first. The only way I'm going to get to know her is if I isolate her away from all of them, right? And sometimes it might come off as a little rude, like, man, that guy's kind of a dick. He just like runs off with you. Who is that guy? It's not their business, okay? It's not their business. They're not her mom, right? So... You just want to go from point A to point B. You want to open your target, get her away from her social circle as quickly as possible so you can isolate her and get to know her on that very, very honest and authentic, genuine level where she's not worried about being judged as a slut or worried she doesn't need to worry about what she has to say or she doesn't need to uh, act a certain way and put on this facade because her girlfriends are watching her. Okay, Because as long as her girlfriends are watching her, you're not getting to know the real her and you can't have that genuine interaction with her. And worst of all, you can't work game on her, okay? Because she's showing you like an agent of her and it's not the real her. So you need to isolate her. Very, very, very key.